Hi, I'm Jennifer Smith from the Coping with Depression blog at HealthyPlace.com. And today I'd like to talk to you about uh, when we struggle with our mental health. And of course, it's hard enough as we deal with our depression and um, as we struggle to cope with our depression. But uh, oftentimes there are external forces that can worsen our mental health. And I want to talk to you about some of the things that I've been dealing with lately. And um, some of you may have been dealing with these as well. Um, some of the news stories uh, that we've been seeing broadcast in almost every direction we turn lately um, have caused me to regress in some ways in my depression recovery. And also, I've had some life events that have happened lately as well. And um, these combination of things have really turned me um, into just honestly a mess in a lot of ways. And I've had to uh, be honest and speak with both my therapist and psychiatrist about the struggles that I'm having. My gut reaction, of course, was to just keep things to myself because I was ashamed to admit that after all this time of doing so well that I was having um, a backwards movement in my recovery, but um, I knew that that would be detrimental to my health. So um, I took the steps that were needed and I talked with my therapist and my psychiatrist. Um, one of the things that I was uh, struggling with um, as far as uh, symptoms or consequences of uh, dealing with so much and working backwards in, in my recovery actually was uh, zoning out and having a lot of trouble focusing on things in um, my day-to-day -day life. I had so much on my mind and was feeling so overwhelmed that I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And um, I actually did something that could have been life-threatening for me. And I uh, spoke to my therapist about it. And so she told me to do something out of the ordinary, whether it be wear a piece of jewelry or paint one of my nails a different color, just to remind me to stay focused in the present moment. So what I've done is to wear this ring, which is not one that I would typically wear. And so I will um, just twirl it around or touch it, rub it like that when I feel myself um, starting to go out of the present moment. Um, then it will bring me back to the current situation. Um, I spoke with my psychiatrist actually today and told him that I was dealing with regressing in um, a lot of ways that I was not sleeping as well at night again. I was feeling more tired than usual, feeling sadder than usual, also feeling more anxious, feeling jumpy about certain things uh, due to news stories that I've seen lately. And so he and I agreed that I needed to increase the dosage of one of my medications in addition to seeing him and my therapist on a more regular basis. And while initially that made me feel discouraged that I had to increase my medication, I feel now encouraged about that because first of all, I was brave enough to take that first step and admit and recognize that I was regressing. And then secondly, there is a treatment for that. And now that I'm on that path, I know that I can get back to the place where I was before in my recovery and then reach an even higher place. So what I want you all to remember is that there will be times where you may go backwards. You may see it that way. But just remember that healing is not linear and you always need to be honest with your healthcare professionals. Until next time.
I'm Jennifer Smith from the Coping with Depression blog at HealthyPlace.com.